<laughs> Folk, folks, how are you? Welcome to the Woods Miller channel. So we finally got winter here for about the last week, week and a half or so. <clears throat> and uh, we still don't have much snow. So this has been a really good year for skating. We've got a river across the road. Usually by this time, you know, even for the last two months, it would just be, you know, tracked out with skidoos and that. But since we've had no snow, we've had not had one skidoo. So the river, like I was saying, the river has been just a primo ice skating here. So if you live in Canada, uh, it's kind of one of the, one of the fun favorite pastimes, uh, ice skating, playing hockey, you know, figure skating, whatever, uh, you know, whatever someone does there. So, so I've been taking advantage of it. Me and my wife been going down there skating and just having a blast, right? You can't beat the outdoor, uh, uh, skating, right? If you got a pond, you know, lake, stream, river, whatever, right? Whatever you got around, a puddle, whatever. It's all skatable. So, now, today, and I grew up playing hockey, so I, I love hockey. Um, you know, I got stick, I got pucks, and, um, but I don't have a net anymore. And I've been looking online for the last few weeks and that, and there's, uh, there's nothing. Um, you know, I've looked in stores. I looked in the buying cells, local buying cells, and that. So it's, I've, and I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks. You know what? I've just decided I'm just going to build something. And it ain't got to be pretty. It's just got to be able to take uh, pucks because I want to shoot pucks. So it's got to be able to take a, take a good hard puck on it. So, like I said, it's got to be pretty. So I've been brewing with ideas in my head of, you know, like, yeah, I could use some skinned up logs and, you know, make it look cool and, you know, round posts and out of logs. But, yeah, I could do that. Um, just kind of take more time, I think. So I just want to get something up and going because, um, you know, I don't have a bunch of time to to spend, you know, right now making a, you know, a sweet net and the materials and that, too. So anyway, I've got wood. And I've got some old chain link fence that I'm going to use for the netting. So that's the plan. So I'm kind of just going to wing it and see what I can come up with. And we'll get it down to the river there. We had a little bit more snowfall down here. So uh, I'm going to have to give it another shovel. Hopefully just a shovel. And hopefully I don't have to bring a snowblower down. But if we get that cleared off, it usually takes... Well, we'll see. Last time I did it, it took me two hours to to clear off the area there. So hopefully not that long. I'd like to kind of get this net built and and shoot some pucks at it today. So anyway, let's uh, grab our materials and see what we can come up with here. Okay, so scrounged up some materials here. So I got some uh, chain link fence here. I had a big roll down the bottom of the hill, just kind of section off. So that should stop a puck. I held a puck up to it. Like if you blasted one and this one was, this stuff was stretched right out, like it'd probably go through it. So I kind of got to put it on sort of loose so it's not fully expanded out and should be fine. And then uh, I'd like to make something, you know, I've, I've got like, four by four posts kicking around in that, but I'm like, I got to carry this thing down to the river. So I'm going to try to make it sort of as light as I can. Um, so I just grabbed some, some two by fours, some two by fours that were uh, kicking around. I got a bunch of two by fours kicking around. So I'm just going to try to whip something up with that stuff and fasten the, uh, the fence on there and uh, we're ready to roll.
frozen wood. And, uh, a little stiffer to get in, for sure. Okay, so we got uh, base, little base piece there, <clears throat> and then the front GoPro so the crossbar there. So um, I was working on the deck here, but I'm like, you know what? Why am I? Uh, I should be building this in the shop. I got more uh, more space there, so let's take this thing to the shop and get it finished up. So we just about got ourselves a hockey net here. So it's pretty solid. It's definitely solid enough to uh, take a couple shots with a puck, right? So, and it's still, and it's pretty light. So I can, I can easily carry this down to the river. So perfect. So I just got to get the, uh, the chain link, chain link fence on to here now. And uh, we'll get her down to the river, get it shoveled up, and uh, test her out. So I'm happy with this. So far, it's looking good. Um, it's obviously it's not obviously like typical hockey net specs. It's pretty close with the width and the height. It is. Um, it's just modified. I changed um, sort of the. It's just modified a little bit. It's almost more in the shape of like a like a soccer net, almost kind of. But but it doesn't matter. All I need to do is stop some pucks. I don't need it to look pretty. So. Finally got her finished up here. I think she's good to go. Uh, took a bit, took almost, almost about three hours to make this. So probably the longest part of it was just uh, getting the uh, chain link on and, um, and wrapping that up. That took a bit, it was, it was, a, it was a little finicky doing that, but uh, I know she looks pretty good to me. It's definitely stable enough to stop the puck. So, and uh, weight's pretty good. I mean, I'll definitely be able to carry that down to the river. So, so yeah, I don't know. We'll try to get her down there. We're kind of losing light here, and I still got shoveling to do down there. So. Hopefully, I was hoping to get this made and get it, try it out. I've been excited all day here, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll have time. We'll give it a shot, though. <clears throat> well, we made it down to the river. We got the net down here. Welcome to my paradise. Yeah, there's home up through there. So here's the rink. I got a little start on it, but I doubt I'm gonna get all this cleared off today. We're uh, losing light here. <clears throat> yeah, we're losing light. 
on winter hours. So <clears throat> uh, I'm going to get a bit of this scraped off because I want to do a little, have a little skate and shoot some pucks. So anyway, we'll see what we get scraped off and uh, try this sweet friggin' net out. Well, we got a little chunk cut out here. Let's test this net. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. say she's doing the job. Those light slap shot. And she just kind of dented in a line a bit. Well, that's not bad. So she's working pretty damn good here. Well, I couldn't be more pumped with this net. That was worth the three hours of labor to build it. And like I was saying earlier, like a net, especially a net that you can, mainly a net that you can shoot pucks at, is not easy to come by. Especially around my parts where I live here, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Things are generally hard to source here anyway. Well, let alone a hockey net that can take pucks. They're just, forget about it. People got, lots of people got them, but they're, they're super expensive <clears throat> and, uh, and hard to get. So people, they, they don't sell them. If you know someone with them, they'll basically, they'll pass them down, like hand them down, you know, generation, and their family, either that way or a family friend. That's pretty much about the only way you're really gonna find a decent hockey net around here anyway. So, you know, for a good one, you're looking five, 500 bucks pretty much, you know, up to a thousand bucks, you know, for for the ice, the ice hockey regulation quality nets, right? They got super thick netting on them, so, and, uh, the net is not cheap. So anyway, this works friggin' awesome. 
been thinking about it for a bit and I'm glad I built it today. And uh, it'll do the job here and uh, yeah, you know what? Like you don't have to spend big bucks or whatever, like grab some sticks, boards that are laying around your place. You got some old fencing, this, this works good. It's super strong. It'd be easy to replace if I had to replace it, but don't imagine I really will have to. So uh, yeah, just scrap materials laying around the yard, right? So anyway, I'm pumped. I've been uh, excited like a little kid on Christmas today. Get ready to bring this down here. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the vid. And uh, if you got some spare time and you got some ice kicking around your place in winter, give this a try.